Hello, I'm Dr. Rushika Gadani, Dermatologist. Today, I'm going to talk about the different kinds of face masks that you can wear to protect yourselves against COVID-19 and other viruses. It's been more than three months now of India learning to live with the pandemic. And as the lockdown opens up, so many of us are being potentially exposed to the virus more than ever. So, the usual measures always hold true. Social distancing, regular hand washing, avoiding to touch your face, sanitizer use when you are out and about. Apart from all of this, if there is one measure that is quite literally standing between you and the virus, it is the proper use of the proper face mask. Face masks can be broadly divided between the medical grade or the disposable masks and the reusable masks. Medical grade masks are made of non-woven material, whereas reusable masks are made of woven material, which is cloth. This is the basic difference. Non-woven material cannot be washed, it will lose its integrity. But it is giving you a far better filter against the virus compared to the woven material, which is cloth. The non-woven material mask can be something as simple as this triple layer surgical mask. Here, there are two layers of medical gate polypropylene on the outside and a single filtration layer inside. But the filtration that this 10 rupee thing is going to give you is not going to be as good as an N95 mask. N95 means that this mask is going to give you up to 95% of protection filtration against particles which are less than 0.3 microns in size. This includes viruses. Now, this holds true if and only if you are wearing it correctly. So, how to correctly wear it? How to ensure? Open up your mask, fit the tab tight on your nose and wear it in such a way that there is no space remaining anywhere right down from your cheeks to your chin. If this seal is not tight enough, this is not going to give you the amount of protection that it claims to give. Also, avoid N95 masks with valves. Masks with valves are rather dangerous from a public health perspective. Because if I am wearing a mask with valve and I breathe out, you are getting far more easily exposed to my breath compared to a mask without valves. Now, I often get asked that, doctor, can these be washed? These are so expensive. My reply here is that, of course, they are expensive and a bit difficult to find because the kind of protection that they offer. But they cannot be washed. You can air dry them between uses and use them for a total of up to 8 to 10 hours. But the moment you feel that it has started getting smelly, that smell is because of accumulation of your own gunk, your sweat, your oil, your dead skin from this portion. So if you keep on reusing and re-wearing a filthy N95, you are simply inviting trouble for your skin in this area. So avoid. Now who needs a medical grade mask? Of course, the frontline workers, the doctors, the nurses and other people who are definitely exposed to COVID positive people. This is the kind of mask. The N95 is what they wear apart from other PPE. If you are a member of the general public, do you need this mask though? Ideally, if you are somebody who is at a high risk for acquiring a you know, fatal COVID-19 disease, you should be staying at home. But if you have to venture out, this is the kind of mask that you should wear. Now, who does this include? This includes the elderly, people who are more than 60-65 years old, who have other diseases which weaken their immune system or who are on other drugs which reduce their immunity. So this includes maybe people with heavy diabetes or people having heart issues, lung issues, people who have survived a cancer, etc. So yes, those are the ones there. It is recommended that they wear a medical grade mask. Now coming to cloth masks, we are told that simply wearing a gamcha or a dupatta is also going to do the trick. Is it? Not as well as the N95, but it is definitely going to protect you. So in a pinch, just wearing a handkerchief doubled up is also a good idea. But as with the medical grade masks, a single layer is not going to work. Something that is very easily available for 10, 20, 30 rupees is this hosiery material single layer mask. This is absolutely useless. Please discourage others from wearing it. Please do not wear it yourselves. This is something that is made of a single layer stretchy material. As it stretches, the pore size becomes even larger than it already was. This is going to give you absolutely no protection. Avoid. The cloth mask that is recommended by WHO has a minimum of three layers. Outer polypropylene, inner cotton and middle filtration layer. There are even four, five and six layered masks made of cloth out there. By all means, you can go for those, but make sure that you are not, you know, mistakenly investing in an anti-pollution mask. Anti-pollution masks have been available online since ages now, 
they are definitely not the same as a coronavirus mask. The basic difference here again that valve comes into the picture. The anti-pollution masks usually have that valve to make it easy for you to breathe out. Please don't get them from a corona perspective because you are exposing others to the air that you breathe out. Now, how to take care of your mask? How to reuse them? Ideally, the surgical mask should not be reused. Just use and throw it off if you are using it. N95 is a bit too expensive to throw off like that, right? So, we can air dry it between uses and use it for maybe a total of 8 to 10 hours. But don't use if it is smelly. The cloth mask, wash it off after every single use. So, ideally keep two or three masks that you can keep rotating between. Make sure you use a simple detergent and wash it properly. Hang it out in the sun to dry and you are good to go for a repeat use. Cloth mask too, the fit should be good. Make sure that there is no space for air to escape from the sides. For example, this particular cloth mask, if I am wearing it, it is not giving me a good seal on my cheeks, right? So if I am to wear this particular mask, I should, you know, maybe stitch this a little bit here to make it fit me better. Individualize the fit and you are good to go. Hope you found this useful. If you did, please don't forget to hit the like button. And please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I am going to share a whole lot of skincare content in Gujarati as well as English for the lay person to understand how to take better care of your skin. Please stay safe, stay connected. Take care. Bye-bye.